Hello and welcome to The Reasons I'm Broke. I'm Daniel. And I'm Kelly. And this is another unboxing video. This time we are doing the Dark Knight Trilogy on Blu-ray. And here we go. This one has a really cool finish to it. I think that's my favorite part of the whole package. On the back you can see that it's got the three movies. On the front it's got the code for the Ultraviolet. What were your initial impressions of the box set as we were unwrapping it? It wasn't until we actually got it out and I felt the case that I really appreciated that. It's a wonderful, I would say, matte finish. It's textured. It's got kind of a grip to it, like you said. It's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. This is this is when I really noticed that it had that on it. It did leave a line, this little paper backing to it, which I hate when they do it on the collectible DVDs or anytime you open it. Because it's like, what do you do after you open it? You just kind of put it aside, really, and throw it away. It doesn't really have a way of staying on. We had the same problem with the Adventure Time mm -hmm. Collector's Edition that we unboxed um, a little while ago. And on the back, of course, it had the Dark Knight Rises shattered logo. And might have been the Dark Knight, actually. But here you have the insert for the Ultraviolet Trilogy code. Now, with this code, you can have all three of those movies available to you digitally. And using your PlayStation 3 or other device, you can view all three in high definition and standard. This is the art book. I know you really like the making of art book. I did. I love this. It shows concept art. And I love Christopher Nolan just had to photograph himself in all these different places. And it was really <laughs> funny. But I loved it. It was Again, beautiful. Yeah, the full book is available. On the back, you have all the villains. Um, my favorite, Ra's al Ghul, of course, from Batman Begins, the favorite of the trilogy, in my opinion. And they do have the full book available. This is just like a 64-page preview of sorts. Now, here's the actual Blu-ray discs. How do you? What do you think of the way they set it up? I love them. I love that it it each one showed the bat symbol in what the movie symbolizes. Right, and the best part about this collection is it's not really that much of a pain in the ass to take out the movie and actually put it in and watch it. Now, the, the, the inside part of it does have a grip finish, too, as well as the outside. So I was having a bit of trouble taking it out of the actual case. Now, that is one of the problems, I think, that it had. They didn't have to make the inside that same finish because you do struggle getting the actual disc book out as well as the regular art book if you're going to watch it kind of makes me happy that they included the trilogy on the digital because that is the only part of the whole package that i was disappointed with mm -hmm. i think the digital was a good idea as well though because it's so easy you just you know you're sitting on the couch you want to play it so you just pop it on instead of having to go in like you said it's not hard to get them out but i think that was a nice touch that they added now, speaking of the trilogy, what were your favorite ones of the three? This is the part where we just kind of review the movies as they go. My favorites, I believe, went one, two, three. One, two, and three. Yeah, mm -hmm. I absolutely agree. The favorite. Who was your favorite villain in it? You know, we of, all know who won the Oscar. Of course, Liam Neeson <laughs> was my favorite through all of them. I thought Aaron Eckhart did a wonderful job as well. Yes, Heath Ledger was good, but I believe, you know, a little controversy he won because he died. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. That's did, why I think he won. He did do well. I think his best role was in Brokeback Mountain, personally, but he did a really good Joker. People aren't going to forget his Joker anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But yes, Ra's al Ghul, played by Liam Neeson, was my favorite. Not Raz al Ghul, because the animated series gets it right, and the way the animated <laughs> series does it is the way you say it. So overall, we recommend the Dark Knight trilogy on Blu-ray. Initially, when it came out on Amazon, it was only 5 bucks extra than the Dark Knight Rises Blu-ray. At this point, there is more of a gap between the two. I think that the last time I checked, Dark Knight Rises was like 15 bucks. But for if you don't have all three or if you want like a really neat packaging to have all three, this is a really good value, especially with that digital code in it. Recommended. Absolutely. And if you enjoyed our unboxing, make sure to check out our weekly podcast. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.